King John's authority is challenged by an ambassador for King Philip of France, who calls for Arthur, the son of the previous king, to be crowned in John's place. John refuses and the ambassador is sent back to France with a declaration of war. At this crucial moment, a commotion arises between Robert Falconbridge and his brother Philip, simply known as the Bastard. Robert claims to be his father's true heir, while his brother is the illegitimate son of John's deceased brother, Richard the Lionheart. John declares Philip an official Plantagenet, knights him and calls on him to join the war against France. When the two armies meet in France, they gather at the gates of a town called Angiers. However, the citizens refuse them entry and propose that the two kings reconcile by uniting their families by way of a marriage between John's niece, Lady Blanche, and the conveniently single Louis the Dauphin. Upon entry into the town, Arthur's mother, Lady Constance, becomes furious at France's betrayal. To her relief, the papal legate, Cardinal Pandelf, arrives to chastise John for refusing to follow the Pope's orders. After John insults the Pope and all Italian priests, Pandolf excommunicates him and threatens the King of France with a similar fate if he fails to condemn England. Thus, the war begins again. The young Arthur is seized by John's men and imprisoned in a castle. Hubert, a loyal servant to John, is ordered by the king to burn out Arthur's eyes and kill him. Hubert fails to do so and lets the boy live. When he's left alone in the castle, Arthur tries to escape but slips and falls to his death. Constance, Arthur's mother, is inconsolable and loses her mind and eventually her life. When they discover the body of Arthur, the English nobles suspect King John of murder and offer their allegiance to France in retaliation. Hopelessly outnumbered, John asks for the Pope's support and reaffirms his loyalty to the Church of Rome. Even though Cardinal Pandolf is unable to convince the Dauphin to stand down, the bastard, who is still serving John, leads the English army to a very precarious victory. On his way home, John is poisoned by a monk and dies in Swinstead Abbey, leaving his son, Prince Henry, to take the throne and the bastard to dare the rest of the world to challenge England's authority.